A green, mysterious substance oozing out of the ground. Tonight, the Michigan Department of Environmental Great Lakes and Energy confirming this liquid is originating from electroplating services, believed to be contaminated groundwater from the basement of the facility. If you recall, the defenders have reported on this company. Inspectors found an estimated 5,000 containers of hazardous waste and materials improperly stored inside the Madison Heights company that was finally told to cease operations by the MDEQ. This is a serious case. Um, in my opinion, yes. The conditions were the worst I had ever seen. It was no secret electroplating was breaking the law. The defenders learned the company was cited for compliance issues by the MDEQ for nearly two decades. Defender cameras caught the company's owner just a few months ago coming out of federal court. 69-year-old Gary Sayers was sentenced to a year for non properly storing and discarding the hazardous waste. He wouldn't comment on the case. Ladies and gentlemen, this toxic green ooze on the interstate is found in your water supply everywhere. Hexachromate, among other toxic chemicals, as you can see here, is just seeping from the ground that's underneath this toxic dump ladies and gentlemen look at this pool right there look at that uh, retention pool in the shed and of course this is just a few blocks away from a school it's contaminating the whole entire area the EPA has known about this for at least two decades they've done nothing for the most part, they say they've cleaned up the place, and yet shit is still oozing from the ground. And this is just another example of how messed up regulations are in this country. It's not just the death towers. It's not just the pesticides. It's what they allow in the water supply. Not just the fluoride, not just the chlorine, not just the lead. But you've got all sorts of nasty, cancer-causing, toxic chemicals sitting in your water right now. And you're drinking it, or you're cooking with it, you're washing dishes with it. It leaves a residue, ladies and gentlemen. You're showering in it, doing your laundry with it. It's in your clothes, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody should be really concerned. And... You know, there's tons of these toxic companies out there making your rims, making your, you know, anything and everything with a chrome finish, including, uh, you know, screws and nails and the like. And the process is just nasty. It's just nasty. It looks like Frankenstein's laboratory making things nice and shiny for you. And all of this stuff goes somewhere. And you look at some of these labs, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, your products start like this and they end up like that. But in between, uh, you know, then and now, if you will, is this process giving out toxic fumes. And there's all this toxic waste. And, you know, when you got these little stores, little shops out there, these sheds of horror, you know, basically mixing this shit you know behind closed doors look at all this toxic water this toxic waste that's just splashing around you know it's just getting dumped into the sewers it's just getting dumped into the municipal water supply many cities basically turn their crap into tap water and this is included in it and you know every city has contaminated water and the levels that are considered safe compared to what's legal is amazing just because it's legal doesn't mean it's safe and that's what the science tells us and this is like across the board you know whether it be what they're dumping in the water or what they're spraying on the food or what they're spraying for the mosquitoes or even what's in the vaccines anything and everything just about that's considered legal is above safety limits when it comes to what scientists are telling us. According to scientists, you know, a lot of the stuff that they say is legal is actually unsafe, carcinogenic, toxic, ladies and gentlemen, and it's like this across the board. 
And so, you know, what might seem like an insignificant story. A green, mysterious substance oozing out of the ground. Tonight, the Michigan Department of Environmental Great Lakes... What might seem like no big deal is actually just the tip of the iceberg. This thing is bursting from, you know, the ground underneath this toxic dump. And they found 5,000 drums of toxic chemicals, and a lot of it was seeping into the ground. It's like they had this disposal well in the basement, and they are just pumping shit in it. And this sits right next to uh, Lake uh, St. Clair out there in Detroit and uh, you know they got enough problems out there in Michigan but there's tons of you know just scrupulous people like this that will dump their shit right into the ground right next to your schools your churches your neighborhoods I mean literally this guy's shop of horrors was like right next to a neighborhood right off the interstate next to schools and everything i think we've got some footage of that how close this was you know to people and this guy's just dumping shit everywhere and there's countless people like this that are dumping shit burning shit uh they don't care about their communities they don't care about the neighborhood they don't care about life as we know it they're in it for the money or so that would seem, ladies and gentlemen. But what we're seeing when we connect the dots between these people is something, you know, much more nefarious. And it comes back to this cult of death that we reference in just about every broadcast. These evildoers that are out there to murder, cheat, steal, kill. They're not just your politicians. They're the everyday citizens out there. And if they're not doing shit like this, they're trying to molest your children. Look, this was the disposal well, you know, underneath uh, or in the basement. They're just pumping shit into the ground like a big fracking operation. And, you know, this is, you know, this is a big wake-up call. This should be a big wake-up call to everybody out there because it's not just the fracking that's poisoning your water. It's all of these businesses in your neighborhoods and sheds that you wouldn't even think twice. You know, it's kind of like, you know, the body shop or whatever. Uh, and here they are, you know, just dumping shit everywhere. Super toxic stuff. One drop in uh, an Olympic sized swimming pool is enough to give everybody cancer. That's how toxic this shit is and uh, the like. Now, you know, some of this stuff is latent, you know. And what it, the worst of it is, is how it impacts kids. You know, adults uh, sometimes, you know, say, you know, one out of two will resist uh, a fairly toxic threshold. But children are the most at risk. And, you know, this stuff doesn't just cause cancer. It causes, you know, neurological issues. And uh, there's no telling, you know, how much autism is actually caused by things like this as well as pesticides and the like but you know the science is conclusive here the levels that we're finding in our environment are way above safe levels across the board on every subject it's like the standard operating procedure what's legal is not safe and you know the epa handling of this case where they say oh yeah they've cleaned out the basement everything's a-okay and then the shit's oozing on the interstate it's no wonder people are twitching out there it's no wonder people got the parkinson's the ms you know and the various other neurological diseases there's neurotoxins everywhere poisons everywhere and they're always dumping it into you know the rivers the water supplies they're building their pipelines you know across the rivers and the basins and you know they're fracking the water tables and it's getting you know it's it's showing up everywhere and they're always like oh it's safe it's wonderful look at the economy you know we're number one and look cancer rates keep doubling every 20 years or so in this country our rates are you know far higher than you know the rest of the world the United States and the European Union have rates that, you know, are like 10 times what the rest of the world is at, quite literally. Hard to believe, 
debatable, you know, as far as reporting and and screening and the like. But 10 times is the accepted metric by the World Health Organization. We're 10 times as toxic as the rest of the world. And either it's part of the program or people out there are just, you know, complete psychopaths, you know, out to kill you. And take your pick, it, you know, one really isn't better than the other. You know, you may not subscribe to our dark matrix uh, theory, if you will. But that doesn't mean these people aren't out to get you. Just because you're paranoid doesn't mean people aren't out to get you. And I'll tell you what, just because you look both ways across before you cross the street, that doesn't make you paranoid, ladies and gentlemen. That just makes you cautious. I don't know how many people have ever seen wildlife out there in nature, but they're extremely paranoid. They don't trust anybody. Any little movement and they're out, you know, quicker than you can say what happened. And people should be as, you know, cautious, if you will, as the wildlife out there i think we've lost our instinct to survive we just see this shit on television and we accept it like it's normal because the government tells us that it's safe but the science is overwhelming here and it's not just you know operations like these that are unsafe it's you know just about virtually every product that's on the market right now is unsafe it comes with fine print people don't ever read the fine print they don't ever understand what the dangers are they just assume that if they can buy it it's okay that everything you know is controlled and regulated ladies and gentlemen it's really not about safety first out there it's about taking out as many people as you can and it's right there on the georgia guidestones but even if you believe that these people are just, you know, dumping shit into the environment because, you know, it's cheaper and they can make more money that way, you know, truly there, you know, there has to be something more to it than that. You know, there's a will to cause harm there. You know, when you're setting up a shop like this house of horrors that we were talking about, that you're out to cause damage. You know when you set up these monster death towers in your neighborhoods right you know right on school property you're there to cause damage and every scientist out there except for the ones that are paid for by these industries will tell you that you know the legal standards are not safe standards they're you know they're that way so that they can make the most amount of money and take out as many people as they can and the you know the situation is rigged so that you know it's latent it's like a time bomb it looks random when it hits but there's nothing random about the cancer rates in this country there's cause and effect here and uh, it's all about the technology that they're deploying you know and maybe they can chemo your ass maybe they can irradiate your ass and you know have you hang around a little longer for a couple hundred thousand dollars but that certainly isn't you know what we should be you know experiencing out there we should be in a safe environment and if people want to be exposed to this shit and make some money then they should have to go there to this like you know toxic waste dump and do their job why are they parking this shit in everybody's backyard so that they can fumigate their ass so that they can basically you know dose their ass through the water through the air and the like people should be able to opt out of this shit if they want to you know getting dosed isn't a human right out there if anything it's a violation of our human rights and when you can't opt out of what they're gassing you with of what they're uh, you know dosing you with what they're spraying you with what they're subjecting you to that ends up being you know torture that ends up being a tyranny and everybody has an obligation everybody has a duty to stand up to this you know it may not be you know super popular it may not be convenient to talk about an industry that you know pays you you know uh, a living wage but I'll tell you what, when you see what it's actually doing to people out there, you have to be a psychopath to, to continue on 
and just say it's okay. And, you know, that goes for the people that are regulating these industries as well as these people that are, you know, managing these industries. Because now there's just no escape. There's no escape. It's like these people in Sydney, there's no escape. They're locked in. You know, they got their mortgages. They got their jobs. There's nowhere to go. And, you know, right now maybe they can fly out of town and, you know, and just, you know, stay somewhere else for a couple months. But eventually the whole world is going to be like this. This is the beginning of us crossing through a threshold. This is us being on the event horizon of something much, much worse. And soon there'll be no escaping this black hole, this terraforming, this eugenics program that is basically sucking us all in, you know. And uh, it's not until you experience a situation like this that you realize how important it is to be, you know, um, on, on the edge or, you know, on the front line of this fight. Because, you know, it's coming to everybody's neighborhood. Right now, everybody is getting dosed with the water. Everybody's getting dosed with what's in the air. Everybody's getting dosed with what's in the food. And there's really no escape. You know, even, you know, the super rich are finding ways to basically, you know, get uh, taken out by these eugenics programs. And really, there's just no escape. There's no escape. Where are people going to go? You know, for the longest time, people were heading to Australia or New Zealand to try and escape. Or maybe to Europe or something like that. But there really is no escaping this eugenics program. And it's getting worse. And, you know, every metric out there is a huge red flag. And we're going to include um, a link so that you can check out what's in your water supply from an independent lab. They've done pretty much every city out there. That'll be in our YouTube video. If you're watching this on, you know, Facebook, you'll want to check out our website, stfnreport.com, for the link there. But excellent website. And uh, everybody should be concerned about what's in their water because you're drinking it. Some of you are out there. And not all the filters are getting everything out. Uh, and if you're not drinking with it, you're cooking with it, you're doing dishes, laundry with it, you're bathing in it. You know what I mean? And even, you know, watering your lawn with it, you know, that stuff basically uh, evaporates. A lot of it does. turns into, you know, volatile compounds that you breathe in. And there's just so much, you know, crap out there that you could talk about. You know, from the black tar to, man, just about everything that they use and spray, paint, uh, paint thinners, you know, soaps, detergents, you know, perfumes, everything that gives off a fragrance is basically um, a neurotoxin or, you know, some sort of uh, carcinogen out there. And, uh, you know, people have a remarkable tolerance to uh, intoxications. You know, you've got a system set up uh, inside your body for that. But uh, it takes a toll over time. And uh, eventually, you know, it's going to take people out. And the idea is, you know, is to have it take people out before they hit retirement, that they can pay into the system, you know, and basically not be able to cash out. And this is all about making people sick so that they're, you know, hooked on the drugs, uh, you know, with uh, bills that they can't ever you know, repay and the like, and it's just, you know, becoming a nightmare out there. And it's only going to get worse and worse. Again, the studies are rather clear. You know, cancer rates are doubling every 20 years or so. And uh, everybody should be quite concerned. And it's undoubted that they're hiding the numbers, they're hiding the evidence, they're really not trying to talk about, you know, the issue. Instead, they're trying to deregulate everything and, and allow more of this shit into your water, into your food, into the air, and the like. And, you know, you don't have to be an environmentalist to not want, to not want green slime, you know, in your water supply. But, you know, they're dosing it with chlorine, they're dosing it with fluoride, and uh, that's just the beginning of the horror of what you're finding in your water. And, you know, it ends up being like rolling the dice out there. And you might, you know, think to yourself, oh, you know, you got to go out some way. And 
it's not one thing or another. You know, another way to look at it is, you know, life is tough enough without dealing with shit like this out there. And everything has just really kind of like become more or less deregulated. There's no morals or ethics out there anymore. You look at the television, it's nonstop product placement for the dark side. If it's not one vice, it's another promoting, you know, basically gang banging, murder, violence, you know, thuggery and the like, uh, among other things. And uh, it's, you know, that's pretty much what's responsible for the devolution of our society. And if you look out there, I mean, it's become like the zombie apocalypse. You start pointing out the obvious and you'll actually get a horde of people out there calling you, you know, a Nazi or whatever. And it's like, you know, what do you do with this? You know, what do you do in a situation like this when the masses are so brainwashed into accepting, you know, evil? You know, what do you do? And people really are just going to have to fend for themselves out there. And there's strength in numbers. I mean, people should be actively searching um, for like-minded individuals out there so that you're not alone in your community, so that you're not just surrounded by evildoers that are trying to bring you down. You know, these dark clouds, as soon as they see a ray of sunshine, they're on you like a storm, quite literally. And, uh, you know, these people tend to be in charge of your city, of your police departments, of your, you know, you name it, your schools, corporations, the works. And so, look, unless people, st unless people begin to unionize, you know, for the good, they're just going to get outvoted, outorganized, they're just going to get bullied into submission, and there'll be no escape. And it's only going to get worse. You know, these corporations are planning to automate the workforce. They're planning to, you know, chip the employees. And soon, I mean, if you want to get a job, you're going to have to get a brain chip. You're going to get, you're going to have to get a Neuralink, you know, in order to compete with the AI of tomorrow. And of course, that brain chip is just going to, you know, take over. You're just going to become a, a robot that's witnessing, you know, what the AI wants you to do. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a living nightmare for everybody. It's going to be like that locked in syndrome. Everybody's going to be locked in their bodies. They're going to have no control. The brain chip is going to is going to be moving your arms and your legs. And it's going to be telling you what to say, what to do. And you're just going to be there like a prisoner in your body. You know what I mean? That's the future of humanity. Thanks to these corporations. And, you know, they'll gut you out. They'll turn you into a full blown cyborg uh, before you know it. And there'll be nothing left of humanity. There'll be nothing left of the world, you know, we came into. It'll be this synthetic nightmare. And, you know, this is the work of the dark side. You can tell them by their fruits. And, you know, the story gets creepier. I mean, it looks like they're dropping clones. It looks like they're staging, you know, events on the television to grab your guns, to disarm you and the like. You know, it looks like they're basically lying to people when it comes to just about everything, whether it be, you know, to invade people or to impeach people or you name it. I mean, it's just it's just a huge nightmare. It's out of control. And you just don't see anybody, you know, in some any kind of official uh, capacity pushing back against this eugenics program. It's very frustrating. You know, you may like what Trump has to say. You may think he's a wonderful entertainer. But I'll tell you what, when it comes to, you know, the eugenics programs out there, I mean, it's, you know, it's a big failure. When it comes to, you know, free speech and, you know, the American way, it's, it's a huge failure. You know, normal people are getting lynched, they're getting silenced, and, uh, you know, they're getting raided, evidence planted against them. It's become a hostile environment. For regular people out there and unless you're upside down unless you're fucked up you know you're just totally excluded from the system and that's hardcore discrimination that's hardcore hatred and when you look at these democrats i don't think anybody's fooled you know by the cover story it's you know it's hardcore hatred just like you know 
this dude here that's basically pumping this you know toxic shit right into your water supply and there's just no telling how many people have come down with you know who knows what and you have to remember here i mean the epa supposedly cleaned this place out they didn't clean anything maybe they drained this pool but they didn't do anything beyond that what could they do you know what can they do with the the millions of super dump sites and the like and they just don't do anything they just don't do anything they label it and they say you know we'll get to it one day and they just let people keep drinking this toxic shit. it's uh you know it's a it's criminal you know, this agency, just like, you know, many of the other uh, bureaucracies out there are criminal enterprises. They're there serving the special interests and they're ripping off, you know, the consumers, the citizens. Nobody is safe. In fact, we're unsafe because of these uh, agencies, because of this bureaucracy. And these laws, you know, don't keep us safe. They, you know, they basically keep uh, the lid on the story they contain you know the the eugenics program within their legal standards so that everybody thinks it's okay and that's really like the worst kind of you know fuckery out there when they tell you oh yeah it's legal but scientists are telling you it's not safe not even close so, you know many of the limits regardless of you know the you know the metric are 10 times, 100 times higher than what scientists say are safe. You know, whether it be these death towers, whether it be what they're putting in the water, whether it be what they're spraying on the food, whether it be what they're putting in, you know, the consumer products that you buy, you know, at the grocery store, the shampoo, the perfume, the deodorant, you name it, the baby powder, the antacids, you know, it's all turning out to be toxic, you know, and the like. And it's, you know, it makes you think, well, if these people are so incapable, incompetent of doing their jobs, you know, how bad is it out there? And the answer is it's worse than you can possibly imagine. That's why, you know, it's our recommendation out there that everybody should be a skeptic and everybody should be concerned about everything that you possibly can. You know, people are going to get all self-righteous and, and obsessed about, you know, political correctness. What about common sense out there? You know, people uh, want to pretend like, you know, these people on television give a shit about you. And I think it's ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous to think that these people on TV, regardless of their political affiliation, really give a shit about you. You know, whether it be the Democrats, you look at, you know, Nancy Pelosi's district or Adam Schiff's district or whatever. You know, it's a it's a dump. It's a third world country out there. It's the zombie apocalypse, to say the least. They obviously don't care about people. If they did, their districts wouldn't look that way. And it's, you know, it's pretty much the same thing, you know, in frat country as well. You think these, you know, Republicans really give a shit about you? They're all about the money, you know, at the very least. And, you know, you start going a little deeper into the skull and bones and the like, and it's like, these people are out to get you. These people are your worst fucking nightmare. It's the new world order. It's the pages of the Bible playing out before your very eyes. It's the beast system rolling out. And, you know, they're, they're out to exterminate everyone. And wherever you look, you know, whether it be these fires in, in Australia, you know, they're cutting down the water supply. It looks like some weather warfare and the like on their very own people. You know, they want people basically to be miserable. They want people to be, um, you know, exterminated and that's just what's going on out there these things aren't accidental you know whether it be what's you know what's happening in australia or what's happening in america you know these death towers this poison in the water this poison in the food this poison in the vaccines you know these things aren't accidental these things are there with purpose and you know if your neighbor was like you know you know, starting to do stuff, uh, you'd get suspicious real quick. It wouldn't take you very long to know that, you know, he's dumping his garbage, you know, in your front lawn or, you know, he's like, you know, doing whatever. You know, everybody's had the, the neighbors from hell before. And it doesn't take you long to figure it out. Why does it take people this long to figure out, you know, what's going on 
with the planet here and not just you know the environmental side but you know the human side of it as well you know they're trying to kill everything that they can and it looks like they're terraforming the planet and it's really about connecting the dots out there if you really want to figure out what's going on this all this stuff isn't happening by chance this is part of a concerted effort to poison and kill as many people as they can get away with and you know when the EPA tells you that you know they've cleaned up this site and you know they've been you know they've they've known about this site for two decades and the shit is still oozing out and it's in everybody's water and cancer rates are through the roof you know people should ask questions instead of being sheeple out there like and share be sure to get this information out there and uh, check out what's in your water supply be sure to protect yourselves because you know the government isn't going to do it for you they're not going to help you they're facilitators of the crimes unfortunately and you know it's just the role of the media to call out you know the situation for what it is and you know what their solution is to that they're censoring everyone you know they're totally in bed with what's going on with fake book and google you know they're pretending like you know like they're concerned it's like when people chant hillary for prison and it's like <laughs> they're just laughing at you you know they're laughing at you so it's okay to be a skeptic out there and uh, we'll leave it there for this broadcast be sure to check out our website stfnreport.com be sure to support our broadcast help us reach more people at patreon.com forward slash stf news where listeners support it of course this beast system uh isn't uh sponsoring this broadcast we don't take money from google or fake book or you know any of these uh evildoers so you know if you want us to continue on reaching out as many people reaching out to as many people as we can then support our broadcast it does take quite a bit of time to put these shows together ladies and gentlemen and we recommend you try it out you know start your own show be a superhero in your community feel free to like and share and to mirror this con content you know you can use it in your own show and the like but get people talking about this stuff because you know when you start talking about these kind of issues all of a sudden you know going to the football game don't seem as important as it used to and uh, it's only going to get worse. And I think everybody's got something to lose uh, in this world. And there's something worth fighting for. And now's the time before, you know, you end up like Sydney. You know, then by then it's too late. When they've brought the gas chamber to your city, it's too fucking late. And, uh, you know, they just keep increasing the doses out there. It's only going to get worse. It's never, ever going to get better. And the only way that things will ever really change is when we flush out the entire system. You know, 1776, part two. Ladies and gentlemen, until the next time, if you're listening to this, you are the resistance.